ప్రతిష్టాన్ని సంస్థ పన్నెండు వందల తొంభై ఆరు సంవత్సరంలో సౌటుప్పల్ మండలంలో ఎస్వీ ముంబై ఆరు నుండి ఈ సంస్థ ఈ రీసెర్చ్ అండ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ యాక్టివిటీస్ లో again i would like to repeat that all the mc members and award winners will enter the auditorium i have done diploma course sir i request after that i appointed as a government karaku ibbandu nane tanti vi unnai kani ee kramamlo oka maaka tallidandulu otta baadhyatananta vaari pujana veskoni ఒక వికలాంగులు ఎన్నడూ కూడా ఇతను ఒక అవటివాడు ఇతన్ని నిర్లక్ష్యం చేయవద్దు ఒక సాధారణంగా ఈ రోజుల్లో మన అందరికీ తెలిసినటువంటి విషయమే వికలాంగులు అనగానే ఇంత శాస్త్ర సాంకేతిక రంగాలు అభివృద్ధి చెందుతున్నప్పటికీ కూడా వికలాంగులు అనేది అక్కడక్కడ సమాజంలో చిన్న చూపుగా ఉంటుంది కానీ మా తల్లిదండ్రులు మాత్రము ఒక మా తల్లిదండ్రులే కాదు సమాజంలో ఉన్న వికలాంగులు ఉన్నటువంటి కుటుంబ సభ్యులు కానీ వారి తల్లిదండ్రులు కానీ ఒక రాయిని తీసుకొని మన శిల్పాన్ని అట్లాంటి ప్రాజెక్ట్ చేయడానికి అని చెప్పి మేము స్టార్ట్ చేశాము ఇప్పటి వరకు చాలా ప్రాజెక్టులు చేశాము మాకు మంచి సపోర్ట్ వచ్చింది ఈ ప్రాడక్ట్స్ అన్ని మేము ఫారెన్ లో కూడా ఈ మధ్య లాస్ట్ వచ్చే రెండు ఏళ్లలో రకరకాల కంట్రీస్ రష్యా నుంచి తర్వాత ఇజ్రాయెల్ నుంచి అండ్ స్పెయిన్ నుంచి యూరప్ నుంచి అండ్ మెయిన్ ఈ కంట్రీస్ అన్నిటిలో మన ప్రాడక్ట్ కి బాగా సపోర్ట్ వచ్చింది వాళ్ళందరూ కూడా యాక్సెప్ట్ చేసి మాకు ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ ఆర్డర్స్ కూడా చాలా వస్తున్నాయి లాస్ట్ టూ ఇయర్స్ లో మేము ఆల్రెడీ చాలా ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ చేశాము వచ్చే సంవత్సరాల్లో కూడా బాగా వచ్చే ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో మన క్వాలిటీ లెవెల్ ప్రాడక్ట్ యాక్సెప్టెన్స్ విదేశాల్లో కూడా యాక్సెప్ట్ అవుతుంది అండ్ చాలా ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్స్ వస్తున్నాయి ఈ ఏరియాలో ఫ్యాప్సీ worked with the various multinational companies uh, like Dr. Reddy's, uh, GST, uh, and Biogenics. I am working as uh, head finance. Shri Lakshmi Kanti Inani, Shri Dr. Subarao Pavluri, శ్రీ కె సత్యనారాయణ రాజు శ్రీ నితిన్ కె పారిక్ శ్రీ శివ కుమార్ రుంగ్ట శ్రీ గౌరా శ్రీనివాస్ డాక్టర్ అశోక్ కుమార్ కేడియా శ్రీ కె భాస్కర్ రెడ్డి శ్రీ శ్యామ్ సుందర్ పసారి శ్రీ రాధాకృష్ణన్ అగర్వాల్ శ్రీ సుబ్బారావు శ్రీ ఎంఎస్పి రామారావు శ్రీ రాజ్ కుమార్ అగర్వాల్ శ్రీ పి ప్రేమ్ కుమార్ శ్రీ చెల్ల గుణరంజన్ శ్రీ ప్రకాష్ చంద్ర గర్గ్ శ్రీ హరిగోవింద ప్రసాద్ శ్రీ రవీంద్ర మోడీ శ్రీ కరుణేంద్ర ఎస్ జస్తి పాస్ట్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ సార్ శ్రీ డి సీతారామయ్య గారు శ్రీ బిజి శాస్త్రి గారు శ్రీ సిహెచ్ వెంకటేశ్వరరావు గారు శ్రీ కె పి శాస్త్రి గారు శ్రీ ఏ కృష్ణమూర్తి గారు శ్రీ తాంచీబాయి సావలా గారు శ్రీ లక్ష్మీనివాస్ శర్మ గారు శ్రీ ఇంజనీర్ జేఎస్ రావు గారు శ్రీ ఓం ప్రకాష్ తిబ్రవాలా గారు అండ్ శ్రీ అత్లూరి సుబ్బారావు గారు శ్రీ సూరజ్ ప్రసాద్ అగర్వాల్ గారు శ్రీ కె హరిశ్చంద్ర ప్రసాద్ గారు శ్రీ శేఖర్ అగర్వాల్ గారు నౌ మే ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ అవర్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ శ్రీ విఎస్ రాజు గారు టు కైండ్లీ వెల్కమ్ ది గ్యాదరింగ్ విత్ హిస్ వెల్కమ్ అడ్రస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ హరిశ్చంద్ర ప్రసాద్ పాస్ట్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ దేవేంద్ర సురానా సీనియర్ వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ సినిమా సైదేవర వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ 
సూరజ్ ప్రసాద్ అగ్రవాల్ చైర్మన్ అవార్డ్స్ కమిటీ ఎంవి రాజేశ్వరరావు సెక్రటరీ జనరల్ పాస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ కమిటీ మెంబర్స్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూట్ గెస్ట్ అండ్ ఇన్వైటీస్ అవార్డ్ వినర్స్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యాప్సి ప్రింట్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ మీడియా లేడీస్ అండ్ జెంటిల్మెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇండీడ్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ప్రెజర్ అండ్ ప్రివిలేజ్ ఫర్ మీ టు ఎక్స్టెండ్ ఎ వామ్ అండ్ కార్డియల్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఆనరబుల్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ శ్రీ కిరణ్ కుమార్ రెడ్డి గారు ఫర్ టుడేస్ అవార్డ్ ఫంక్షన్ సార్ we thank you very much for sparing your valuable time to be with us and present the excellence awards to the award winners sir fapsi welcomes the government's new industrial investment promotion policy of 2010 and 15 however the budget allocated to the industrial sector is very meager about 300 crores i, I appeal to you sir should it should be raised to 3000 crores and double the same to 6000 crores in the year to come apart from that there is a need for upgrading the head of the state's industries department to the level of special chief secretary this will ensure a single stop shop for all industrial clearances this in turn will facilitate the entrepreneurs and will attract large investment to the state sir we thank the government for consulting all the stakeholders while from formulating the new industrial investment promotion policy and land allotment policy however on certain issues like 4% vat on textiles and sugar which caused certain amount of hardship to trade and industry the stakeholders were not consulted the imposition levy of 4% tax will increase the prices of textiles and sugar in the state than the prices of textiles and sugar in the neighboring states the levy and imposition of vat will burden the consumers and weavers in the state and the business will get diverted to the neighboring states therefore i appeal to you sir earnestly and humbly to kindly consider to withdraw this levy we also request the government and its departments to call for pre budget and post budget sessions representations and recommendations on all important issues from all the stakeholders such as fapsi and take them into confidence while formulating the industrial related policies sir power is an important driver for economic development no doubt andhra pradesh enjoys better position compared to some of the neighboring states yet the industrial growth in the state is being affected due to the frequent power interruptions and power shortages even the quality of power is also very poor leading to a lot of electrical problems to keep to keep momentum going on in the larger interest of the economic growth as well as industrial growth it is very essential that that power situation has to be improved immediately if necessary by buying power sir to have a continuous uninterrupted power supply to the industry we request you sir to kindly arrange for laying a dedicated power feeder lines to the industrial estates in the state and also provide quality power another important request is that government should announce the state power purchase policy and implement the same without any further delay this policy should be in place for such time till the expected generation plan comes on stream tapsi has also taken a lead to bring out a study report on power needs to meet the uninterrupted power supply in the state of andhra pradesh a road map one i expect it will be in your hands before it will start the time the other problem being faced by industry is delay in getting the environmental and pollution clearances this needs to be had sir with the state government's emphasis on creation of export processing zones and special economic zones the state exports are expected to increase significantly to meet the needs of the exporters and importers of the state and make available the export related facilitation services fapsi is proposing to establish a international trade facilitation center and a proposal will be submitted to the state government for the establishment and the assistance to the states for infrastructure development of exports scheme of the ministry of commerce government of india this scheme will result in enormous competitive advantage to the state and serve the international trade many fold and accelerate the industrial and the international trade promotion activities to take forward this is very important forward looking initiative i request to sir to kindly consider to allot 30 acres of land at a strategic location nearer to the twin cities i am sure that that this project would not only increase the exports from the state 
but would also heighten the international trade relationships and economic ties up with many countries. This will go to increase the economic growth of the state and would benefit the industry and trade in the state. We earnestly hope that we will initiate these steps expeditiously and take the state to its well-deserved pre-eminent position as one of the most attractive destinations for industrial development. As I conclude, I would also like to congratulate the award winners for 2009 and 10 once again and wish that they will continue to serve the cause of the country in general, particularly the state of Andhra Pradesh, in particular in future with all dedication and determination. With these words, may I once again welcome you all for this August gathering and Sri N. Kiran Kumar Redigaru for his encouragement and valued presence on this momentous occasion. Thank you. I request Sri Suraj Prasad Agarwal, Chairman Awards Committee, FAPC, to give his introductory remarks. Sir, Sri N. Kiran Kumar Redigaru, President Sri S. V. Rajagaru, my colleagues on the dais, Managing Committee members, past presidents, members of the awards committee, award winners, distinguished guests, press and media. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. I am happy to add my words of welcome to the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Yen Kiran Kumar Edigaru and to all of you for today's function. Over the past three decades, FAPSI's Excellence Awards have become very important medium through which the different fields of industrial activities such as productivity, research and development, protection of environment, corporate social responsibility are encouraged and inspired. The excellence awards are being given in recognition of proven excellence, outstanding contribution in the areas of industrial productivity, all around performance, workers' welfare, research and development, export performance, product innovation, rural development, marketing performance, turnaround and revival of a sick industry, development and application of alternative, inexhaustive energy sources, environmental management, information technology field, innovative product and service awards in healthcare with highest societal impact. Award for scientists, engineers, women entrepreneurs, self-sustaining effort by a physically challenged person and outstanding contribution for which are of destitute women. We are happy to inform to encourage greater corporate social responsibility. This year we have instituted Corporate Social Responsibility Award. This award is sponsored by our Vice President Sri Srinya We have received 120 entries for 19 awards. We are glad to inform besides 19 excellence awards, two special recognitions are made to recognize the excellent research and innovative done in science of science and technology. They are special recognition to Sir Pravin Kumar Gorakvi. I think he's the available here, Mr. Pravin Kumar Gorakvi. Yeah, Engineering student, Usman Ashuti, Hyderabad, and Mr. SCC Industries Private Limited, Hyderabad. The Federation has an excellent and exclusive awards committee consisting of 30 experts drawn from different specializations and experience to adjust, adjust the best among the organizations of excellence in different fields. I take this opportunity to thank all the members of the awards committee for taking the responsibility and sparing their valuable time and expertise in selecting the best entries for various awards. The details of the various excellence awards presented by the Federation and the sponsors, winners of the awards, will be announced by Sri Shekhar Agarwal, immediate past president. Our chief minister is very affectionate and very amicable person. Before I end, I would like to present a small couplet for him. Sir, this is for you, sir. Ye raat na hosti agar sitare na hote. Ye raat na hoti agar sitare na hote. Lairi bhi bhatakti agar kinare na hote. Aur kahan jaate hum? Aur kahan jaate hum? Faryad lekar. Yadi Kiran Kumar bhi jaise CM, humare sahare na hote. Humare sahare na hote. Sir, FAPC would, would be greatly blessed with your support and guidance to make this state as best industry developed state in the country. I thank all the members of the print and electronic media and sponsors of the event. I thank all of you once again for making this program a success. Thank you. Thank you very much. I now request our Honorable Chief Minister, 
శ్రీ కిరణ్ కుమార్ రెడ్డి గారు టు అడ్రస్ దాదరింగ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ members of pepsi the management committee all the award winners i think it's better luck for the people <clears throat> i think it's better luck for the people who have not won it this time there is a lot of partnership between business and the government we cannot do without each other i think uh, you don't depend on us as he said he said a shari we also depend on you for the resources to come it's a it's a mutual understanding it's the industry which takes us forward all the industries which are coming in there is so much of competition between the states that we literally don't get anything for 5 to 6 years to come as taxes some industries which are big want us to invest some more for them to come here i think the competition between states is becoming cutthroat competition like you have in business Yes, there are a lot of problems attached to this, but uh, I don't agree with the, Mr. Raju saying the power position. I think we are in the best power position in the country, and I am confident about it. We are better than Gujarat. Last summer, last summer the percentage of power shortage was six percent. here in andhra and uh, how, how much was gujra because in one of the meetings i found gujra having more shortage than us in summer we bought some power last summer we bought i think a month 800 megawatts and 1000 megawatts even some few days back i don't know if they are buying it now few days back also we purchased power because there was no hydro electricity and other aspects yes we are concerned about power position because our whole industrial development depends on power we are concerned we are sensitive to it and how to take it forward we would like it to be a excess power state but it will take some some more time for us for that to come yes lot, lot of uh, private players in power are coming in but there are lot of problems attached to the starting this power projects also it could be both ways some could be because the people there do not want to part with their land some could be because we have mishandled either the state or the industry has mishandled the situation whatever it is we are not coming at the pace power should come here unfortunately lot of issues which the government takes decision or should take decision goes to court so once it is in court it's very difficult to predict when the result is going to come so some of the issues you mentioned are in court so till the court gives its judgment we'll have to wait we cannot uh, take the i think uh, case one bidding you you are talking of so such things we have to wait we have to go with the system being in a democracy we'll have to respect the other institutions also i thought uh, i was going to get lot of uh, funds from the industry you are asking me to increase my budget in the <laughs> my budget in in the industry yes for incentives and all there is some due 
that will be cleared very soon. There shouldn't be a problem. I've asked them to do it. But you should understand, the state is doing the maximum welfare programs in the country that no state is even, we can say 1 to 10, it is Andhra Pradesh and there is no state close to us. As far as welfare programs is concerned, as, as far as education is concerned, education to the poor is concerned, all aspects, I am very confident there is no state between 1 to 10, it's only after 11th other states come. We are doing so many welfare programs. Yes, we require money for this. You don't want us to tax anything. You don't, when industries come in, you want a lot of incentives. When industry is coming, you want cheaper power. We are, I think, giving 75 pice rebate for the power. You don't want to pay uh, taxes. It's very difficult for the government to run. So I, I request if you've got any suggestions, please make it. We will consider your suggestions and uh, take it forward. And we are not uh, very happy trying to tax someone and trying to trouble some industry. That's not our aim. But there's so much of... Uh, deficit between the cash flow and inflow and outflow, certain sectors we'll have to select and we'll have to do. Lot of uh, screening has been done as far as taxation is concerned. And we are trying to reduce the tax. You can see the land rates, uh, land taxes, I think which was 13, 14% earlier on, has come to about 7% or 7.5% totally. That is only 5% comes, 5 or 4% comes to the government and the remaining 3% goes to the local bodies. So we are trying to reduce the taxes one way, encouraging citizens to pay uh, more taxes and more uh, registrations and other aspects. We are coming up with our industrial policy, you said, is one of the best in the country. But industrial policy, again, Whatever policy you have, it all depends on the situation in the state, the peacefulness of the state, the power generation in the state, and the response from the government. All these things, we are aware of it, and we are taking care that we should do the best for industry and make it comfortable for them to start new ventures. In fact, I was telling my office to allot at least two days, what one hour each or one and a half hour each, for business delegations and industrial delegations to meet me every week. So that whenever whenever an association wants something from us, we, we are most willing to uh, oblige and try to see that we are, we come, we help you in, in the aspect. Apart from this, we are starting a new land policy for the industry, which, which would be very transparent. I think we have taken the opinion of uh, the players here, CIA and FFC and other uh, uh, who are in, uh, connected with industry. We are coming up with another basic policy where we want to integrate education and employment. We are calling it Rajiv Education and Employment Mission, where we would like representatives of industry to be in that mission along with, I will be chairing, as Chief Minister, I will be chairing the mission next week or so. We would like all the <coughs> players of different industries, which makes a difference for Andhra Pradesh, to be part of that. And try to get the courses into the colleges, which will automatically facilitate a employment potential to the children. <coughs> now, now, the unfortunate thing is, the students who are coming out of college, the industry feels they are not good enough for employment. Or the courses they are doing in, they are not employable. What the industry requires is totally different. What they are studying and what training they are taking is totally different. We are trying to synchronize these two. And we are trying to make at least 15 lakh jobs is what I am talking of in the next three years should be created in with the private private and government put together in the industry and in all fields. Jobs does not do not mean it's only the technical. 
we are taking from the down to the top the total we want to give the training i think for skill development we are uh, it will be a part of this uh, mission where uh, we want to develop skills in colleges and out of colleges also and try to take the advice of industry to absorb these people so this is we are coming in a mission mode which will be no uh, you will be knowing it very soon <laughs> apart from that <clears throat> and i, I think uh, the partnership summit the government of india is having it in uh, hyderabad that is i think uh, slotted for january february i think february government of india cai and government of andhra pradesh is ha- having the partnership summit in hyderabad Mr. Anand Sharma was here, and he has requested us to host it, and it will be a good event for uh, the industry of, of uh, Andhra Pradesh, and it will be a good exposure for us also. Apart from this, Biodiversity World Conference uh, is going to be in Hyderabad. That is in October 2012, where. about 9 to 10000 delegates are coming and about 190 heads of the country 193 heads of the countries are going to be here i believe this is the biggest event after independent in india in the country we are, it is going to be in hyderabad they have selected hyderabad as the destination so about nearly 9 to 10000 delegates will be here for about for 10 days so lot of uh, excitement and lot of industry is ready to come here they are meeting us lot of big industries are uh, talking in one of the industrial promotion meetings in a single meeting i cleared investments worth 25000 crores for about 26 industries one single meeting we cleared so things are happening but they are not happening at the pace which it should happen and uh, difficulties are there we cannot run the government without our officers and when officers are there problems are always there <laughs> so we are trying to smoothen the things we are trying to make as friendly as possible to the industry and we are trying to we have got a lot of proactive uh, officers now who are looking after industry who are in fact ringing up the industry and requesting them to come here and uh, do their bit a lot of management colleges also are coming to hyderabad i think uh, in a weeks time uh, in uh, 15 days i op- i uh, f- uh, laid the foundation for about 5 6 management uh, colleges and i inaugurated a management college also they are all Uh, world class or uh, be, uh, one of the best in the country so we have got lot of activity in hyderabad i think your presence uh, your activities also will increase and your responsibility also will increase with all this coming here so many management students uh, coming here i uh, congratulate i congratulate the young uh, engineer who could come whom you have selected as first in spite of so many disturbances in the university <laughs> i think you should congratulate you <laughs> i th- 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 i think a uh, lot of uh, students in the university uh, are having a problem the uh, sincere students because of this uh, agitation going on but i think it's a matter of time before this is solved i think we are positively looking ahead for the uh, the university to be uh, more educative and more less political area i congratulate fabsi for having this function and uh, selecting the awardees from different aspects of uh, business and i wish them all the best and uh, any help from me i am always open to you thank you very much kindly present the excellence awards i request shri shekhar agarwal to introduce the award winners
Thank you. Corporation Limited, AP Genco Hyderabad, Shri Vijayanandari IS Mani Miriata, Andhra Pradesh Generation Corporation Limited. They believe that key to excellence is consistent improvement. Murthy Silver Rolling Trophy instituted by VBC Industries Limited, Hyderabad goes to Tulsi Seeds Private Limited, Guntur. Tulsi Ramchandra Prabhu Chairman is second son Tulsi Krishna Chaitanya Director of Tulsi Seeds Private Limited will receive the award. They believe in product Kesor House Cement. Basanagar goes to KCP Sugar and Industries Corporation Limited. Okay. okay. The fourth excellence in research and development, a silver rolling trophy instituted by Spectra's development. They believe Andhra Pradesh to become the excellence in research and development, a silver rolling trophy instituted by Alico, Zeta Tech Industries Limited, Siva Kumar, Chairman of the Managing Director of Research in the Key Group. Outstanding export performance, silver rolling trophy instituted by Surana Group of Industries. Surana goes to Amazon Laboratories Limited. Shri Bharat Reddy, Director, India's exports must be more than India's import. Outstanding. Now, excellence in product innovation, a silver rolling trophy instituted by MRF Limited, Sadashi Pate, Medak District goes to Patista Industries Limited, Sikandrabad. They are supporting agriculture. We play the best culture is agriculture. The next is, award is excellence in product innovation, small scale industry, Shri Dalchand Agrawal Memorial Silver. Rolling Trophy instituted by Shri Lakshmi Prasad Agrawal, the yeah, chairman of Mendeley Agra, DSL Infrastructure and Space Development Private Limited, Hyderabad. Goes to CNC, Tetons Private Limited, Hyderabad. Mr. Rahul Bandaru, director, they believe in the innovation. The, the next award is Excellence in Rural of India is Rural Population, Rural Happiness is National Happiness. Now, next award is Excellence in Marketing, DP Agrawal Silver. Rolling Trophy instituted by Central India Group of Industries, Hyderabad, goes to Godavari Polymers Private Limited, Dr. C. Rajendra Kumar, the Director, we need customers' loyalty, Peter Dutta. Now, excellence is non-conventional renewable energy development application, a silver rolling trophy instituted by Non-Conventional Energy Development Corporation of Andhra Pradesh Limited, Hyderabad, goes to Sinto Camp Lefts Private Lift Limited, Hyderabad, Mr. Jain Chago, the Managing Director, believes in green energy. The next award is Excellence in Environment Manager, Dalchan Sundarabai Silver Rolling Trophy Institute by Shri Suraj Prasad, Agrawal, the promoters of White House, the past president, goes to Now Bharat Ventures Limited. Kamam Shri Pri Trivanama Prasad, Managing Director, believes uh, harmony with the nature. Next, I want the outstanding scientist or engineer for the benefit of industry, trade, and agriculture. C. Achyutra Cash Award for Rupees 7001, instituted by Shri C.V. Sitaram Swami, past president of FFC, goes to Dr. Tata Nursing Rao, scientist F, and team leader, International Advanced Research Center for Power Metallurgy and New Metallurgy, ARCI, Hyderabad. The social recognition, uh, the special recognition cash award rupees 5001 and the citation to Mr. Praveen, Praveen Kumar, Goravasgi engineer, student, also Osmania University, Hyderabad. He believes in evolving and making the change. Let's give a big hand to all the awards winners, please. That's great. Now, next, how to say women's independent scientist manager technologies award to Shripati. Chenikani Vijay Lakshmi Cash Award of Rupee 7001 instituted by Let Sitaram Swami, founder Vijay Memorial Foundation, Vaisa goes to Srimati Sarvamanula Purupadi Propachar Anaga Hyderabad. She always believes what a man can do, a woman can always do it better. Outstanding self sustaining effort by a physically challenged uh, person, Margashi Cash Award 4001 Institute by Margashi Chitfund, Hyderabad, goes to Shri V. Ravi Kumar, government teacher, Mantel Parishad Primary School, Karimnagar.
he believes that physical strong person not useful to the society is only physically challenged person the next our outstanding contribution for welfare of socially economically physically challenged is human shri umati janu uh, Jamnabai TV Wala Cash Award, 5,000 Women Institute of Om Prakash TV Wala Foundation, Hyderabad, our past president goes to Shrimati Anuradha Reddy, founder, chairperson, Diabetic Society, Vishakapan. She believes serving to women is service to God. Next, our outstanding information technology company, a silver rolling trophy instituted by Oriental Bank of Commerce, Secunderabad, goes to Tata Consulting Services, Hyderabad, Shri Rajana, vice president, and, and the regional head. Chattas always believe in values, trust, and the technology. Last award, Excellence in Corporate Social Responsibility, Ayodhya Vankar Radha Krishna Memorial Silver Rolling Trophy instituted by Shri. Shri was the Chartered Accountant and uh, Vice President, goes to Anjani Portland Cement Limited, Hyderabad, Shri Shetty, Chief Executive Officer, and Shri Raju Group, Manager, Hyderabad. They believe in inclusive growth. The convention that we... Sri Ki Yogi Naidu, past president, is a civil engineer by training. He has ex executed major irrigation projects. Major irrigation projects include in Nagarjuna Sagar, Sri Shailam, and medium irrigation projects like Nizam Sagar. His experience in the industry spreads across pesticides, insecticides, and explosives, and industrial gases sectors. He is associated with several educational institutions and has been... He became member in 1976 in FAPSI and was the was a unanimously elected as a president in 19, uh, 2002. He served as managing committee member for several years and as chairman of various committees of the federation for several years. He was the founder president of Hyderabad Wholesale Art Silk Cloth Merchants Association. He made significant contribution to the society in various phases. Certainly, Radio City Dakin Chronicle. Yeah. Okay, I now request. Sir. Forget, forget. Forget, forget. Thank you, sir. Presentation of him. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request Sri Devendra Surana. The audience here today has really given a lot of morale booster to all the award winners. Sir, we are also proud along with you that the economic in index freedom has showed that the state has moved from 7th to 3rd in all India basis. In fact, we have a uh, program tomorrow which talks about it. Sir, we are very thankful to you for showing that industry and government have a mutual interest and we cannot live without each other. Your sensitivity to the power issue is greatly appreciated. Importance of peace for the development of the state, you have mentioned it in several times in your speech and we all feel a great need for that. Furthermore, sir, we take your main check about the time for industry associations and we'll keep troubling you from time to time for various needs of the industry. I thank all the government officials for accepting our invitation and participating in this function. I, I, uh, I thank especially Mr. Jawaredi who has coordinated this program today for us. 
I thank the individuals, institutions, and sponsors of this program. I thank all the contestants for the FAPSI Awards and congratulate all the winners. You inspire us to work harder and win more awards. I would request you to all put in your application for the awards next year and we would like to see a better function next year. I now also take the opportunity to thank all the members uh, of the awards committee and the federation for this program. I also thank, not uh, lastly, uh, lastly but not the least, people of the media who today are more important than anybody else. Your coverage, your coverage of this program uh, will definitely inspire excellence in this uh, society. Thank you very much. Thank you, one and all.